In this video, we'll be completing a simple one-step calorimetry problem. How much heat is released when 67.2 grams of copper cools from 1,225 degrees C to 1,083 degrees C? So let's look at this again. How much heat is released? So we know heat is going to be given off. This will be an exothermic reaction, and ultimately our answer will be a negative answer because heat is being released. All exothermic reactions will have negative answers. So draw a heating and cooling curve, and right away, um, let's label it as copper because we know we're dealing with the element copper. Now, here's a table which has a list of specific heat capacities um, for a variety of different substances. C is specific heat capacity, and then S is solid. So this is the specific heat capacity for solid, liquid, and gas. And then we have the heat of fusion, the heat of vaporization. And over here, we have two important pieces of information, uh, melting point and boiling point. So we're looking at the element copper. So find copper. And the first thing we'll want to do is look at the melting point, and then we'll want to write that on the graph. It's 1063, and then the boiling point, 2660. We'll also write that on the graph. All right, now let's go back to our problem. How much heat is released when 67.2 grams of copper cools from 1225 to 1083? Hmm, well, 1225 and 1083, that's in between the melting point and the boiling point. So we're somewhere here. That means copper is going to be a liquid. So you can clearly see um, that our temperatures cause us to fall on a slope. And when we're on a slope, we use the equation Q equals mc delta T. Doesn't matter which slope we're on, solid, liquid, or gas, we'll use the same equation, Q equals mc delta T. Let's plug in the information that we know. They give us the mass. It's 67.2 grams. Now we want to find C. So here's copper. And we're talking about copper as a liquid. So let's use C when it's a liquid. And that value is 0 0.42. And the units are written here, joules per gram degree C. So here's C for copper. Now we need the change in temperature for copper. You know that delta T is temperature final minus initial, so let's make sure we plug it in in that fashion. The copper cools from 1225 to 1083, so it looks like its final temperature is this. This is where it's ending up, minus the initial temperature, 1225. So when you crunch the algebra, you should get this value right here. And once again, it's a negative because it's exothermic. It's releasing heat.